You should get to the point where anybody, where anybody else, else would quit. quit. And, and you're not gonna stop there. there. Yes, yes, you, you can. can. Stop, stop giving, giving up. up. Hello, hello. This is again your friendly neighborhood Slavic. And today we are back with saving your ruined campaigns. And this is a tough one. We've got Russia that pretty much did not expand at all except colonizing Siberia. It's bankrupt behind in techs, behind in ideas, and in a war. Oh my god, minus to stability, no power points, no prestige, no legitimacy, no power protection, no manpower, bankrupt and in loans, no income, no army quality, and at war with Sweden. So if we compare ourselves to Sweden, so they have just half of our troops, but on army quality they have double the morale. It's going to be a tough one. I see one of the reasons why we are so behind in techs and ideas. We took exploration at first. We don't have anything from the states taken. So as age of absolute this is coming, we minimize the amount of things taken in the states. I'm just going to take powerpoints, powerpoints, powerpoints. Let's sound the diet or extension to zero. Oh, what? None of those is scored. Oh, we need to get out of this war ASAP, guys. What Sweden wants from this war? Offer tribute, suggest... Oh. One, two, three, four, five provinces and some money. Let's go and try fighting them. I'm not so sure if we can do it. Why? We have 70k. Why? Why is so much army here? <laughs> Let's delete this stack like completely. From this, I can, uh, yeah, fight the rebel factions a little bit. And to go deal with the rebels first. And then, can I get a free company during the bankruptcy? Oh my god, it all costs so much. No, I can't really do it. I want to try at least one battle with the Swedes. I'm not so sure if we can win it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. And I don't have mil points to take these guys out of the fort, and these guys will be barely on time to even reinforce it. Oh no. I think we just have to accept the demands. 67, maybe 62 already. At least they're not taking no money. Let's accept the peace. We have to reconquer this. It was at this point, it was undoable. What we have to do is to release a vassal to give the provinces around here. And I think Polotsk should be just perfect. Yes. And let's feed them with uh, more of the provinces. So we don't have any mana to call those. Could even uh, give them all of this. Yeah, let's give all of this. We really cannot do anything. And then start improving relations so uh, they will not be disloyal. This is going to be a tough one. I think one of the toughest even possibly. Okay, over here I'm going to get the admin focus with those stats and let's get at least level 1 advisors. Whatever we're getting here. So this way we're at least making some money. The issue is we've got this peasant war. That's what I exactly wanted to say. Uh, that's some rebels that are over here on the force. That's unfortunate. Let's go and take it back. Oh my god, this is so tragic. Minus free stability, and what is the peasant war doing to us? Uh, we need to have stability at least at one and uh, deal with all of the rebels. It's giving us national unrest and stab cost modifier. <laughs> Kill me. And here's the age of absolutism that I was mentioning 45 of max absolutism. So it's not very bad, and that allows us to take weather the troubles. Let's get this Tempestish, it's always better than anything. And additional pain, which is even more rebels from the particularists. This is... Oh, I think that I'm just gonna accept them. Maybe not the peasants, uh, but the particularists. This, this is going to be a lot of alpha in the process. But when I finish my bankruptcy, there's also plenty of absolutes that we will get from this. Local economies. So just accept the demands. And also the crown land right now is hurting us. That's fine. From the Pachiha Treaty at the same time, just gonna take the national unrest and harsh treatment cost. That will help a little bit to easier the things. I also just took five one-person loans just to not take those 
gigantic 11% loan, so uh, I'm not paying that much for interest and, you know, I can freely deal with the rebels now. Now, actually, for this situation, estate statutory rights might not be that bad of idea, because we want to get more maximum absolutism. Our Aphelon is anyway high, and it won't be a problem to cancel the privileges because I don't have any other privileges. So if I click this, this is 32 of the crown land that we are having right now. And you can see that uh, it's 50 right now, the max absolute is over here. And it will be even higher for the time. Like the amount of the very bad events for is quite big. <laughs> it's both bankrupts and the peasants for us. It's like the, one of the worst combinations you can get. But honestly, I don't know why we have exploration ideas. We're just gonna cancel it. And instead of that, uh, we are heading diplo points, right? And we have nothing from the Diplo, so I'm gonna take the trade ideas, which in the long term will help us beat up a better economy. So I got this event that will take 1.2 thousand empire from me, right? And I had like 3, 000, less than 3,000, so I built 2k, and I'm gonna wait for this to hit 1k. So I'm gonna beat one more thousand of uh, troops, and now I lost practically nothing, as I don't have institution and this military is not the most important, I'm gonna keep filling the offensive ideas over here with my mill points, while um, my bankruptcy just ended. So I'm paying less for my advisors, and I could even, uh, you know, try getting someone better, so let's get this guy on level 2, and let's uh, get this guy on level 2, and this guy on level 3 because he's 50% cheaper, and we're losing a little bit of the money, but at this point it's actually important for us to deal with it. And once those guys get more morale, so in a month take now, I'm gonna help my vassal with some separatists. Just do it. And it's actually going to be used by me, because I'm gonna ship consolidate and get rid of this empty strategy stacks. So this will make my stability cost even less. So, let's do it once, twice, thrice. And we just need a couple of more points to get this to one and end the Byzantine War. So this is actually a nice agenda that we got to see we get subjugation because it's barely on the year end. So I'll be able to just make them my subject and it's cool because they have a couple of cores and I'll just have to deal with those three nations. But that in a second, okay? Just give me a little bit time to prepare. Now with this stability boost, there we go. Restore the order so that's more legitimacy more prestige and most importantly stability of the country so we'll be working on increasing this absolute this it's going to be fine but by the way we only have 42 percent of trade power in novgorod and that's because sweden took our capital st petersburg so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna increase the moscow and yarosov trade centers to level 2 so it's not 42 and it's not 12.2 it should be like at least one or two ducats, yeah, one ducat increase. But the most important point is to just get back St. Petersburg, and this will do miracles. But in the meantime, what I could do, I could divert trade from my vassal as well to improve the income even further. It's 13.8 right now. Okay, that's fine. As my stability is at one, I'm gonna change this advisor to uh, national unrest, which is level two cheaper advisor, and if I get more money, I will get him to level three, because we need to get back in the text and ideas. At the same time, let's find someone in Europe that has great technologies, like, for example, Austria, and doesn't have to go to uh, spy detection. For example, this. So this way, I'm gonna get, you know, cheaper text from the spy network. Finally, some good news in this campaign, because our ruler just died. Of course, we lost the stability. Now, just boost the stability. The point is, 3, 5, 6 ruler with tech cost. So we have really good mana generation to get back in the techs, most importantly in the ideas. And what I see is that our vassal is just unable to research one province. So I'm just going to do it for themselves, because otherwise rebels will enforce. At the same time, I'm all about to declare war on Yeren. Just go, accept this. Declare the war, subjugation, you go for the capital, you go for the fort. We're going to have a battle 15k of the troops. We just see the quality, and this is, I think, Jianzu troops. I'm attacking, but they have minus bonuses, yeah, because they are hard. And I've seen, yeah, that uh, Haishin Jianzu go our troops are going inside Serbia, yeah, but good luck going through there. Another good news, we've got a military reform, so this is something that you can get if your ruler is having 
over 5 of military skill and let's take actual that's a tough uh, no i'm ahead in this and behind in this let's go for purely military form that's miltech cost moral of armies for 10 years 200 mil points and as an army professionalism but the anyway, way you can see that this is 68 right now ah that's because we fixed the legitimacy so you're not losing 10 and we're gaining 10 from high legitimacy peace out Jianzu and Haish to be same strategy in both of the cases let's just carpage their promises a little bit and go for the capital this no you <laughs> don't go this way so there goes Haishi. just wait to occupy those three more promises but it's going to be full money it's going to be war reparations and i can't pillage capital because it's being occupied by Mink already. Ooh, that's additional stability or prestige. Let's go for the stability just in case. And here, yeah, I'm going to accept the PZ already, send it, and we are just about to get the capital of Chanzu and do the same here. Yeah, let's go and PZ it out. Same case, war operations, money, eh, just a little bit less. I don't have to take full of money over here. Send the peace deal. And we're left with Yeren, which should be accepting at this point our peace deal to make them our vassal. How can I take also some money? Yes. And just set it. And we've just got second vassal. And we are above the relations limit now because of this. But I will figure this out. I actually just got mission for more admin points if I conquer a couple of lands for Uzbek. And this is good news because uh, I can just clear the Sibir borders over here. And they have an alliance with Kazan and Ajam. Okay, so this one stack will uh, take care of Kazan. This other stack will go and take care of Uzbek. Look guys, you know why I'm so happy? Because I can finish offensive ideas. <laughs> and with it, I can finish my national ideas in 1621. That unlocks us. Discipline, recover army morale speed, war of armies, fire damage received, and yeah, really legitimate. From Uzbek, I'm gonna take all of the claims that I got from the mission. Yes? No? Uh, why do we have high attitude? Which is ongoing battles. Let's wait for the ongoing battles to finish. Yes. That was an easy battle, actually, that I attacked them. And take maybe not max money, but 600 ducats will be very much welcomed. And from here, actually, I'm just going to concentrate it to Moscow and then call the provinces. Mr. Ivan, that's a nice surprise. 545 error, which is even better of our current ruler, which pretty much should die soon. And even if it does happen, our queen is 536 strict. You see that we're really going back quickly in the ideas. I'm finishing religious now, which unlocks me to policies. All of them is uh, religious unity and missionary strength. I do need it. The tomorrow of armies and siege ability, I could take it. But remember that in a few years I'll finish trade ideas and I'll be having better policies in both of the categories. So let's just wait for it. I shall be able to cancel the East State Statue Rights privilege in one year, less than one year. Let's actually get a diet. Because we need to take Boyar's loyalty above Boyar's influence in that time. So I'm going to summon the Diet, which is not going to give us the goal by itself, because it's increasing both loyalty and influence by the same amount. But if I click it, and we get something from Boyar's here, this is another subjugation castle's belly. And I'm going to use it, because upon the completion, we're getting the 10 Boyar's uh, loyalty, which will be enough to cancel the privilege. And Kalka. It's this small nation around here that is allied only to Oirat, which is actually great for us because I could humiliate Oirat in this war, giving us above 50 of power projection, which means more mana generation. So as promised, humiliate rival, take money, pillage capital at the same time. For Kaka itself, I'm just going to subjugate them, which is not really worth it honestly, but that's not the goal of the war. The goal of the war is get the mission yes so now i can just cancel this estate starter rights and within the month tick or oh, that is no longer a wise rival within the month tick you can see alpha in our provinces everywhere zero now so i need even more money 84 of income now 
two important things to do. First of all, I'm gonna get new governance reform, which is increasing not only max absolutism, but also yearly absolutism. So get it to even higher numbers that I have already. And second thing, the institution. I should be able, yes, to enforce it already. Let's just take one loan, embrace the institution. Now this cost me 340, this cost me 400, this cost me 397. So we're pretty much up to date in the tax. And at the same time, integration of Pollocks ended because we got admin efficiency from the 17th tech, which is 18 right now. So integration is indeed a slow process and I'm gonna go and state all of those promises that I just got from my vassal because this is going to be full states right away and most importantly, it's going to have some of the autonomy. So if you wait a one month tick, I will be able to decrease autonomy in a few of those provinces to increase even further our absolutism. And I can even use this to increase it even more to get additional income to our pockets. With everything taken care of and this being converted, now it's time for a couple of conquests. And I will start with taking care of our trade. So we need to deal with Kazan because they are having 42% of the trade power here. We have to take care of Great Or because they have 60% in Astrakhan. And finally, we have to take care of Sweden because they have 20% in Novgorod and same from Denmark. Once we deal it and finish the ideas in the same time, the safe will be officially fixed. I'm gonna peace out Kazan now. Can't fully annex them yet because I don't have enough of absolutes, but I can take most of the major provinces. So just send the peace deal. First, I'll actually take the Alpine deck because it unlocks us a new idea group. And here I theoretically should go for the mill idea because I'm hitting the mill tech and have plenty of mill points, but the thing is, no, I'll probably go for diplomatic or maybe admin. Let's go for the diplomatic idea. And this is because we don't need more army quality. Our army is already invincible. So for my meal points, I can actually use them to increase my absolutes by just using a simple... Oh, no, not harsh treatment on this. Maybe on this? No, no, no never mind. I, I never said that. This is going to be nice. I can finish my trade ideas, which not only gives me carven power and another merchant, but most importantly, very nice policies. Trade efficiency, good produce modifier, more trade efficiency. So income is not 106, which is already great. It's 117 now. And I will start repaying our loans now. If you watch some of my latest videos, you know that is one of my favorite diets. So it asked me to reduce inflation to five. In exchange, I'll get for 15 years trade efficiency yearly prestige and monthly autonomy change. So let's take this and I'm gonna do it once, two, three, tick, and now our income is 130 and we at the same time reduce the inflation. We don't have any more loans left and probably should still start building up the third stack, but there's completely no rush of it. I'm gonna deal with great ores now. As what mentioned, we need to unite our trade nodes to maximize income that we are generating. Peace is going to be a little bit nasty because we don't have enough of admin efficiency yet, but it should be enough to work on our income. So let's go into these provinces, uh, concentrate the development around them, and start coring the provinces. Why, if we wait for a month tick, the income is going to be around 150, which is already really nice. As they are still. 21 value from the Novgorod trade node because I don't control it enough. I could actually increase this to level 2 later. 
I'm gonna try just collecting in Kazem, because we have 87% here and 31 violet is going out. Let's just wait a month. It's 76 of trading coin right now. My guess is 82 after a month. 87! That's what I meant. So our total income is 166 already. It's time for the two last wars that we want to do to pretty much save this save game. I think it's already saved with the income, ideas and text, but I want to regain what I've lost at the very start. So, first things first, war with Sweden. <laughs> you are so screwed now, huh? Let's just go and take care of them. You remember the battle with Sweden from the beginning of the session, right? Let's go and see what is going to bring it to us this time. 5, 4.7. 108 and 13. Told ya, our army is invisible. We don't need any more military ideas over here. This is a very interesting war to peace out Poland. I'm gonna get reparations and a couple of ducats. So now, with one army, I can go take care of Berlin, and with another army, I can go and defend the force that already seized in Sweden. Same thing goes for Brandenburg money, more money, and peace out. Sweden, where I just need those few provinces, village capital, well, I guess I'll just take this kind of the... not accepting anymore, I guess I'm gonna kill you in Stockholm first, I think that's why they're not accepting, because I started attacking them, and they thought that they could win it, now you can't, so this way I'm just gonna take even more than I wanted, so just go with this, take fix part of the borders, next step in one year I'll choose with Denmark and so I'm just going to clear this borders around here. With 73% of the trade power in Novgorod, I improved Novgorod and Moskva trade centers. I can try transferring trade from Kazim to Novgorod. Right now it's 97 of trade income, I'm afraid that it's still not this moment to move it. But I just want to make sure we're testing it. It's the same, so I can actually move it. And so now it's all about taking St. Petersburg from Denmark. Actually, this mission is going to be quite useful for us. Advisor cost, take it. And additional one, oh yes, more money. So, level 4 advisor, level 4 advisor, level 5 advisor, level 5 advisor. This guy cannot improve, but right now we're producing 14, 16, 12 fire points while still making plenty of ducats. This is the final war. Let's go after Denmark with 71 of absolutism. 73 of absolutism. That should be quite easy to take all of these lands for ourselves. So just go and declare the war for cleansing the heresy. They have a quite a lot of troops, but that won't be a problem for us. Go for old capital, go for one fort, and third stack is coming, so you're just going to completely annihilate them. There it is. The last peace deal of today. They're not going to accept more than that, and I don't want to waste time to stay longer in this war, so just send the peace deal, fully coral of those provinces, and maybe we might try to get this trade center level 2 or... It needs to be part of the state. So actually, let's go and state that because our core, this is very good. But now, with all of those changes, we are having 233 of income. 120 of balance. So we could even build it up to our full smith of the armies. We are up to date with the ideas up to date with the text. It seems like a very tough save game honestly at the start, because this Russia did not conquer anything, was bankrupt behind in everything, but they fixed this anyway. So that was the goal. So guys, for today, thank you so much for coming, and remember, if you enjoyed this series, the saving current campaigns, and would like to support it, remember to leave a like, and say in comments, what would you do better in this save game, because I definitely did some mistakes. See you soon.